Okay, gonna have today we're just going to do a really simple thing. Uh, make sure you have your server booted. Let me rebuild my server. Um, you know, it might not be actually really simple like I just said, but you know, it is exactly what it is. Um, I'm going to be doing it like this. Um, I should be doing it through GTA Debug, but unfortunately, um, I can't be doing that. Well, let's give it a shot. What's, what's, what's the harm about trying? Alright, you can, f once you install SAMP, it, this will be found in your Grand Theft Auto directory. It's called SAMP Debug. Click Launch Debug. Okay. What this is doing is it's sh um it's for developers of mapping. Mapping is setting up the world um of the game that you're trying to play in. Okay. I look at it. It works. Okay. So to start it off, let's go to where we want our stuff. We're going for vehicle. Type V cell and select the vehicle you want. I'm gonna go to a far place. Because that's where I'm going to have my stun server. So, go ahead and pick whatever vehicle you want. Alright, and I'll show you also how to spawn. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, there we go. Oh, oh. fuck. Wrong, wrong vehicle, I'm sorry. Ah. <sighs> There we go. my gear so I can go faster. And let's go. Alright, go to, you know, wherever you wanna be spawned. Alright, I'm going to find a really flat area. Somewhere in this map. I don't know where. Um, doing what I'm doing is actually more complicated as a role, as a game server. What I'm doing is a stun server, so you know we're going to be adding a lot of enemies. There will be tutorials on how to add enemies. And these are objects in which are interactive, like these houses or something, you know. Alright, so let's let's come here first. Alright, let's jump out. Alright. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna set up a spawn. This is where your character will be spawned. Okay. So we're going to have to do it like this. Alright, we're going to minimize this by pressing control tab and we're going to google this. Samp wiki scan IDs. Select on whatever one. Alright, I have a virus on my computer and it opens up retarded looking links. Alright, that is good. Now we're going to get whatever skin you want. Find whatever skin. We're going to have to start mine at 23. So we can minimize that. And those are going to be tutorials. Alright, we're going to type in slash player. Oh, sorry. Slash player underscore skin. And oh, uh, yeah. Then whatever skin ID you want. Okay. As you can see, it changed. I got a skin. And now we're going to type this. Save. And the description of the save: skater, spawn, and enter. All right. That's where he's going to spawn. Now we're going to want to uh, go, we're going to want to find somewhere 
that we want to have this kid spawn. Alright, so I'm going to have mine right up on this platform. Alright. Save. Player. Camera. Look. And. And where it's going to be looking at. Alright, now let's exit up. Alright, I haven't done tutorials for 42 minutes. Okay, we're going to up, uh, open up our thing, our game mode. And we're gonna come down to game mode initially. Add player class. Alright, that's this is um on when you first boot up, it's this is where the, you pick the skin um in the player that you want to use, you know. We're gonna click my documents and we're gonna go to GT San Andreas user files SAMP save positions. And scroll down and we're going to take this one, Skater Spawn. It'll probably be the first one for you guys. And we're going to replace it right here. This spawns a skater where we want. Now, Skater, set player position. Um, we're going to, set, we want to set them where we took that first picture. So we're going to take it to four, one, two, three. Um, oops. Right. We're gonna want to take these numbers: the first digit, the two digit, three digit, and the four digit. Not these digits. And we're gonna want to place them in the first line, like so. Set player uh, camera position. This is where the camera is going to be. Copy this again, like how we said. This is gonna go here. This, the first one's gonna go on the bottom one again, like that. We're gonna press enter and we're gonna click set camera angle, I think it was. Let's make sure that's correct by going to our other, well, my other game mode just to make sure we don't, we don't wanna get any errors. I, I'm not, I haven't done this part of the script in a while. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, where is it? Where is it, you caca? Mm. Fuck, where the fuck is it? Alright, here it is. <laughs> Alright, set player facing angle. That's where it is. Alright, player ID, then we're going to add right here the last numbers. We're going to do space, add them, close it up. Three warnings, numbers of arguments do not match. That's fine, we don't bother about those. Oh, Probably still get it. All right, those are just warnings. They're not errors, so don't worry about them. Okay, and that's pretty much it for that tutorial. I know that one was a little rough. It was rough on me too, so you know, don't fret. But yep, there we go.